Well, it's time for another intriguing lesson in the world of physics. Joining us this morning is Mike Randall, a professor at UW. And uh, Mike, we're going to be talking about plasma rockets. Yes, yes. A little space travel, maybe? Yeah, something that I think a lot of your viewers don't realize. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be a rocket scientist. I'm not, really? I'm not kidding about that. I used to we work on the We don't throw space... that term around lightly. Well, I have a button at home that says, why, yes, I am a rocket scientist. <laughs> no, I used to work uh, developing instrumentation for the space shuttle main engines and other rocket engines. And I can tell you, I have seen these engines. The space shuttle main engines were pound for pound the most powerful machines ever built by man. Half a million pounds of thrust. It's like it shakes the ground. But they have one major drawback. Eight and a half minutes later, after, after the launch, eight and a half minutes, they're out of fuel and they're dead weight. Whoa. So all the pushing they're going to do, they have to do it in that eight and a half minutes. And okay. that's a real problem. Um, for example, if we want to someday send somebody to Mars, mm -hmm. if we use those kind of rockets to get them there, the trip will take about 300 days. Like 300 10 months. days? Yeah, can you imagine being a little space capsule for 10 months? Are we there yet? You think yeah, it's bad it's with ugly. the kids in the car? Oh, it's wow. Ugly. But there is another rocket already in use that as we develop it, can okay. change the difference. Would you like to see? I actually brought one along with me. Would I want to see, see it, it? Right. yes. Are we going to Mars, though? I didn't bring no. my spacesuit. <laughs> no, no, no. Here it is. Ta da. Okay. This is a plasma rocket. All right. Plasma rockets don't. Uh, get going by burning chemicals, they use electricity to ionize gas, which means ripping the electrons off of okay. atoms and then using electricity to accelerate them to tremendous speeds. We're gonna do it with this Van de Graaff generator. Here we go. And we're off. Now, can you hear him? The vibration? No, no, there's a little hissing sound. Can you hear that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there, this is actually, we're ma the high voltage electricity is making a tiny little bit of plasma at the backside of each one of those rockets, and it's propelling it forward. Now, yes, no, I'm fine. Okay. There's, <laughs> there, you can kind of get there's a disadvantage with these guys, too. Not going to be shaking the ground with these things, right? No. Our little Nerf well, arrows, if you can't see at home. There's, a, there's actually a, a, a satellite, there's, a, there's actually a space mission going on right now mm -hmm. using this kind of rocket. It's the first time it's ever been used. It's called the Dawn mission. It's actually visited, already visited one asteroid, and it's now in orbit around a dwarf planet called Ceres. And the only reason it was able to do that is because it's using these plasma rockets. Okay. But these rockets are really wimpy. The acceleration on these, zero to 60 in four days. The thrust, hold your hand up. Okay. The thrust, just hold it out like this. Okay. The thrust is equal to that, the weight of two sheets of paper. Whoa. But they're incredibly fuel efficient. They've got enough fuel on board to, to run their engines for 2,000 days. It's like five and a half years. Wow. They only use at most 10 ounces of fuel a day. So it's not very much of a push, but there's no friction out in outer space, so it keeps adding up and adding up. So they can get to going to some pretty incredible speeds, and they can do it over long missions like that, which, like I said, allowed them to mm -hmm. explore two different planets with the same robot. It's a huge cost saver, and eventually, when we get the technology perfected, we'll be able to send people to Mars not in 300 days, but 39. Something we're going to see in our lifetime? I, I look forward to it, yes. All right. I very much so. All right, Mike, thanks so much for this great lesson in physics. Again, we appreciate you being here. My pleasure.